Hi everyone, welcome to Biker Stock. So today we are going to do chain lubing of the BMW 310 GS and we are going to use two techniques. One is with the roller which you can see here and the other one is with a stand which Nikhil will demonstrate a bit later. So first we are going to do the chain cleaning with the roller. So let's see how this goes. So first place the roller below the tire, the back tire and place it with this with this facing the tire okay and then you take the bike then push it on the roller okay just make sure it's on a level ground and then make sure the wheel is completely sitting on the roller and to check just try and rotate the wheel see if it is rotating without any problem yes so then probably you need to check if it is all aligned looks okay from here so now we'll take the chain loop a uh, chain cleaner yes so then you check the chain cleaner and the brush as well okay so now you go ahead feels free in uh, spraying the chain cleaner because it's just one person so you probably need to rotate the chain a couple of times of course use the pressure as well let me use the brush first faulty brush okay then probably need to keep it somewhere so it doesn't get dirty again rotate the wheel the chain moves of course nickel has a new chain so that's one of the reason why probably isn't very dirty doesn't need too much of cleaning but it's okay we just demonstrating here so just doing a bit of cleaning but anyway the chain is kind of clean but just do it a couple of times because it's a single person so you probably need to do this a couple of times till you are completely done with one full rotation of the chain again feel free spray it well make sure all the grease and dirt is out This should be good and also the roller I think it looks okay Nikhil's chain is clean Nikhil's bike chain is clean and yep yeah. so I think we're good to go so let me take it off the roller and then Nikhil will demonstrate how to loop the chain with his stand that he has Okay, there you go, it's off, take the roller out and then you're done with the cleaning. Okay, bye, of course it's a bit messy, it's expected. Okay, hey guys, hi this is Nikhil here. Um, so right now I'm trying to lube the chain using a, a new stand that I bought recently and again I felt this is kind of easy to use than the roller. So we try to clay, uh, clean the chain using the roller already, so Madhu did that himself. So the reason why we're doing this video is basically to help people who do the lubing by themselves. Uh, you know, doing it with two people, having that stand which can lift your bike, that's totally different. But then when you're alone, it's pretty difficult to do it yourself. So this is a, a, a new thing that I bought on Amazon. I'll put some links so that you guys can look for it. Uh, of course, for the roller as well, we will do so. Now this... Uh, stand is basically lifting your rear wheel up altogether so that that makes it easy for the rotation motion uh, that you will have to put in so this comes with this jack which is basically lifting your bike itself there's a strap which can help you with the front brake so that the bike doesn't move front and there's a small rubber panic which I think we don't have to use over here with the rough uh, area that we have but let's let's try to put that in as well. Keep this away so that it doesn't fly away. 
So first thing that you have to start with is make sure that your bike is on neutral. Just make sure you tie your front brake fully occupied, uh, sorry, fully applied. And only thing that you'll have to do here is make sure that you're circling it in the right way, like how I did is wrong. So you cannot literally strap it up. So I did it wrong, sorry for that. Strap it up, hold your brake fully tight. And here, now, we just twist this across and make sure the, the strap holds the brake. So la, right now, the bike shouldn't move. That's the whole intention of it. Now that you've done that, and your bike is in neutral, what I will do now is, you just have to find a spot where you can have this rubber padding. I think it's a wrong idea to have the rubber padding here with this rough surface, but I'll try, still try to do it with it. Now keep this in here very close to the bike. Make sure this part of it, which is a rubber pad again, sits on over here. Now what you have to do is just push the bike up so that the tire holds up. Now this is, this is the wrong thing to do. So the bike itself moved. So again, give it a try. Put this right here, a um, little away. All you have to do is make sure that your hands are not in over here. This can really can cause serious damages. Right now, see that? Now the bike is basically standing on this uh, jack and it's very easy to now move the vehicle, the wheel. Let me use the lube. For me, now it's very easy. I just lube the chain properly. So that's all I do. You can see that, it's, it's quite fast. The wheel moves very well. I'll try to do it again over here. That's not necessary. I think with the roller, a little bit of it. We don't need so much of lube, but I'm just trying to show. And now what you can do is you can circle the wheel even more. And that pretty much should do your lubing part of it. I think this this solution was a little easy for me when I have to do it alone and even cleaning the chain becomes very easy like you saw Madhu had to literally rub the brush, go back again, spin the wheel and do that manually but then now all that you have to do is just hold the, um, the cleaner and you can keep moving your tire over the wheel. So I think this is an easy solution that I found. What do you think Madhu? Yes. Now anyway. that we have finished lubing. Um, I would like to show you how to remove this as well. It's very straightforward and very simple. Make sure you don't have any physical contact with the bike. If you really need, just, just give a small grip over here, but other than that, it's not needed. Just pull this across and that's it. Anyways, so hope this helps. I mean, if you guys want to think of uh, not using the roller and use a stand, I felt this was an easy way than using the roller. But for us, both of these are the solutions when we are alone. So thank you guys, thanks for watching.